lovely colour. The desserts will obviously be the last course the judges taste before choosing the winning chef, so they could play a crucial role. With both men using rhubarb, it could be the other ingredients they're about to prepare which swing the balance. Richard's going to be making homemade vanilla ice cream to go with his rhubarb compote and Alfonso mango. And Paul's using shortbread to complement his modern version of rhubarb and custard. Now, if our chefs have inspired you to try something new and you want to know more about today's recipes or any of the recipes across the series, all you've got to do is log on to our website and that's bbc.co.uk forward slash food. Paul's first task is to roll the dough for his hazelnut shortbread, which will add a new texture to his dish. But what's this? Richard's making biscuits too. Paul's never trained as a patisserie chef, and he's watching Richard closely. Do you think that makes a big difference in your shortbread, Richard? The, 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 the serving of the flour? Well, I think so, yeah, why not? Let, let's follow the recipe. You see, I'm getting a bit worried now. Despite his concerns, Paul's going to give it a go. Now you're going to get a master class on how not to roll pastry. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you not very good at this? Don't let me hear that. I'm insecure. <gasps> it's insecure. I'm insecure. Oh, that's the first time he's admitted that, isn't it, Richard? Well. This might be my day. Mm, that really has firmed up well, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's come up well. Did you sift your flour, flour for this? I didn't. No, I didn't. didn't. No, it ruins a good shortbread if you sift your flour. Because I noticed Richard did sift his. Did he now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're you're proving yourself an extra excellent pastry. I'm not doing too bad now. You give Richard a run for his money any day. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. <laughs> Across the worktop, Richard's made the dough for his butter biscuits, which now needs to chill. He's now onto the very British part of his dish: good old-fashioned ice cream. So, how do you make ice cream? I have not the well, first idea. Well, it's sugar, eggs. You could say the eggs is the emulsion. The sugar is what keeps it soft in the freezing process. And cream and milk, double cream and milk, and some vanilla. But it's a very, very simple recipe. It's a little bit of nutmeg in there at the end. I just the you nutmeg. love your nutmeg. I, uh, and, uh, and the nutmeg with <laughs> root, uh, the nutmeg with mango. I just yeah. bit of grated nutmeg on something. It just lifts it into tomorrow. The warmed egg yolks and sugar need to be beaten until they become pale and fluffy. The other ingredients are warm cream, milk and vanilla seeds. Don't be scrambling that now, Richard. <laughs> huh? Oh. While Richard's super fresh ice cream gently freezes, he can get on with cutting out his biscuits. Well, at least they're a different shape to Paul's but is being pipped to his own oven by his rival. Have you got that oven on 150, Richard? We could put yeah. our biscuits in. 150, but I've only one tray. I called it first, eh? Paul squeezed his biscuits in, but he's up top. If they burn, Richard, it's your fault. Oh. If my biscuits burn, it's your fault. 